This week we're going to look at preparing and analyzing the data. And so let's get started with the example files from last time. So in lesson five lecture videos cleaning the data from last week, there's a link at the top for import data file examples lesson five. And I'm just going to click on that to download it. And then in my downloads folder, I have import data example files lesson five. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to use 7-zip to extract the archive. Um, but you can use anything to do the extraction. Um, I'm going to extract mine into um, my notebooks folder. And I'll leave the same name. So import data example files lesson five. And then I'm going to go to my start menu. And under Anaconda, I'm going to go ahead and open an Anaconda prompt. And that will open with the base environment selected. So I'm going to CD into Notebooks and then launch Jupyter Lab. So that'll open a browser window in my default browser. And uh, I have uh, import data open from before, but let's go ahead and close that. Um, and then the one I want is actually in this import data example files lesson five, import data.ipy notebook. Um, now, uh, when I uploaded this, there was a bug in here. So I got a little bit scrambled from jumping around on one of these examples. So if I go ahead and run all cells here, and then scroll down. You'll see that when I get to uh, the sample data set for um, the mental health and IT example, there's actually a uh, warning here about modifying a slice, a copy of a slice from the data frame instead of the underlying data frame for the mental health and IT. And uh, specifically, it's on this filtered slice. I'm um, setting the value of, uh, um, I'm selecting some rows based on um, the position and whether it has a bar in it or not. Um, and I should be modifying the actual um, data frame instead of a slice of the data frame. So let's go ahead and uh, um, I'm going to start up here and execute that read CSV statement. And then I'm going to do the rename. Um, but instead of doing this filtered here, what I'm going to do is grab all of this code. And I'm going to put it in here. Um, and then I'm going to modify selected instead. So selected is going to be selected, selected. So this is going to filter out only the rows um, where there's not a bar. Um, and then I don't need to display the value counts. So this is adding a new column called diagnosed. And I'll do that to selected as well. So this is modifying the diagnose column to have Boolean values in it. And then this one is just renaming those columns. So that's probably fine. And this is getting in filtered. So let me go ahead and try executing that. Um, and I have a bug here. So key error position, um, I need to execute this rename before I do that selection there. So I can't refer to position until after I've renamed the column. So we'll do that selected is equal to that. Um, and then let's just do selected. All right. Um, so this seems to work. And I have two columns, position and diagnosed. Diagnosed is Boolean and position only has the values that don't have bars in them. 
Um, and then uh, don't need this anymore, so I'm going to delete it. Um, so let me go ahead and rerun all the cells and make sure that I don't have any warnings anywhere. And I think I'm okay now. All right, um, so now we're good to start on preparing and analyzing the data.